a team of tickets. Maybe me and Lucy can go. Yeah, and actually, you know, we can just go right over the line through yes. Alberta, over the bridge, right into Lily and stop at Greer's and get our lottery tickets. <laughs> And go grocery <laughs> shopping, go grocery shopping. <laughs> all at the same time. Well, it's Wednesday. You know, Wednesday is Lucy Greer Day here yeah. at Studio 10. What are we making today? It looks delicious. Okay, today we are going to make a ravioli lasagna. Uh -huh. And a lot of people, you know, of course, love Italian food and are making lasagna. And we have been testing some new recipes for our delis and we're playing around with this and I have never, I don't know where I've been, I guess under <laughs> a rock, but I have not heard of making lasagna with ravioli. I have you? either, but look, it looks okay. so easy. It's so easy and genius. I mean, who doesn't love ravioli? And I was like, okay, well, we've got to just talk well, about this. Well, it cuts this. like half of the work too. I They're know. already stuffed with meat or cheese. So Exactly. And we're going to use cheese today, but you can use whatever you want. And really, um, Abby, been making lasagna lately they have the lasagna noodles now that are no boil right you don't even have to cook them which that was always the whole pain of lasagna mm -hmm. anyway so a lot of the work has been you know cut out of lasagna because you don't have to cook the noodles but now we can make it with ravioli and things I'm really get interesting I'm telling you it's like <laughs> so easy now I especially love this from growing up we always had lasagna night on Wednesdays oh. So it's lasagna oh, day today. Me. I love it. So yeah. it's super easy. Obviously, you can get mm -hmm. all of these ingredients at Greer's. Yes, absolutely. And so what I already did in this pot, I just took one and a half pounds of, I'm using ground chuck. That's just what I like to use. Mm -hmm. um, and all of our meat in our stores, we still cut all our meat fresh and we still grind all of our meat in That's house. Awesome. So it's freshly ground um, right there in the store. So it's super awesome quality. And just depending on if you use ground beef or chuck or sirloin, whatever if there is um, some fat that comes out that you want to drain you right. can just drain that off so I just cooked this um, all the way through and I drained a little bit of fat that um, was in there mm -hmm. and so now I'm going to use some frozen seasoning blend do you oh, ever use right. this stuff I don't but you know I don't use a lot of like seasoning anyways but yeah. it's frozen so it's Joe's laughing at me it's frozen so it's like so much easier you just yeah thaw it out and cook exactly it, cook and it this in. is just a mixture of peppers and and onions, um, a little bit of celery mm -hmm. in there, and of course, you know, I love um, using fresh vegetables, and um, right. we have awesome produce departments, but when you're trying to pull something together quick, yep. it's just kind of nice. I like to keep this stuff in the freezer, and so that way, if you're trying to put something together real quick, mm -hmm. just don't have the time to chop up, you can just pull a little bit out. So that's, you know, one to two cups of that, and I'm just going to add um, about a teaspoon of salt here, and we're just going to let this go um, and let a little bit of that chill come off those veggies. Now this is a quick meal. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, all you have to do is really what? Cook yeah, the meat. Cook that, and we're actually going to take um, a shortcut with some jarred sauce. And um, I talk about our store brands all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're cooking, you know, everybody wants the best quality you can get for the best price. Right. Um, and so that's what's so awesome about our store brands, which we have two store brands: Best Choice and Always Save. Mm -hmm. um, and these are just as good as national quality, um, national brands. And I just love them. We have in our Best Choice. Almost everything that you could get in a national brand, we have it in Best Choice now. And if you haven't tried it at our stores, I'd love for you to try it. But yeah. it's just so it's so great. You can save a little bit of extra money um, and not have to sacrifice the quality, which is what you know we're all about at Greer's. We want to give everybody the best price um, without giving them anything that's not up to standard. Right. So, so it's a win-win. Win-win. So when yeah. we come back with Joe, what will you be doing? Okay, next? I'm gonna keep working on our sauce, and then um, we're gonna get this baby layered up. Hey, I'm down for it. It's yeah. uh, Lasagna okay. Wednesdays, y'all. Joe, you down for it? Baby talk is always exciting. We've been there a few yes. times before in the past. Yes, it is fun. All right, so lots of good stuff to talk about, lots of good food to talk about today. I'm excited for this recipe, Lucy. Yeah, and this would definitely be um, a good one for kids, you know, talking babies yeah. and um, kids in general. And it's hard sometimes to... to Put well, it's hard every night to put supper on the table. Yes. We all know that. Yes. Um, but it's also hard to come up with new things, and kids love ravioli, and a lot of them like spaghetti anyway. So we're working on our ravioli lasagna, and we already browned about a pound and a half of mm -hmm. ground chuck, and then I added in about a cup and a half of seasoning blend. 
which is like peppers and onions and celery. And then I'm going to add um, this little packet. It's by the, um, the salad dressings, and it's just dried Italian seasoning, kind of like a ranch packet. Sure. But um, it's Italian, so it's going to go good in our um, in our lasagna here. And it's kind of like, okay, Adding we some don't flavor. Really add in some flavor. We maybe don't have time to measure out a bunch of different spices and whatnot, so we're just going to add that in for flavor. And then we're going to take a shortcut on our sauce. You could use whatever pasta sauce is your favorite, but I really love um, our best choice brand, which we were talking about earlier, and tomato basil. So I'm just going to add two of these. I like the move to go with a tomato basil, too. You know what I would do, though? What? Is I, and this is just me, what? I would, in addition to that, add some garlic into this. Ah, uh, you totally could. And that's the good thing about, you know, doing yeah. something like this. You could add um, some heat, you know, with some crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. You could actually make this meatless, too. We're going to use cheese ravioli today, and you could just use marinara sauce and not even do the ground beef. So it's super versatile. I might get in trouble if I do that at my house, though. Yeah. I don't have the, the, the meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would definitely want the meat in the uh, in, in that. But anyone can do whatever they want. Like you said, yeah. it's very versatile, so you have options. And the other thing, too, when people think of, like, making a home-baked lasagna, it kind of seems intimidating. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of steps of the process. It takes a long time. This is a great way to simplify the yes, process. Yes, super simple. Um, and we're going to also take the help with our, uh, I'm going to use the frozen cheese ravioli today, mm -hmm. but you could use the one. Um, you know, out of the dairy department, or, you know, the refrigerated section. Um, and then we're just going to layer it up in a little bit. We're, I'm just going to let this simmer for a bit. And then we're also going to use um, some ricotta cheese and just some shredded um, Italian cheese blend. So it'll be really simple. And you can get it done the day before and mm -hmm. then just either reheat it or pop it in the oven, you know, while you get home from school and everybody's doing their homework and whatnot. So mm -hmm. super easy. Guess what? We had a we what? had a breakthrough in the Emer household last what? night. So Mia will eat it. Mia has always eaten almost everything. Yeah. Eli, the worst eater. Yeah. We, we made a noodle dish last night and he actually ate it. Oh good, what was it? It was a chicken vodka alfredo type mm, thing with yeah. bow tie pasta. That's what oh, got him. Yeah. Is he's like, ooh, cool. These are shaped like bow yeah. ties. So that, oh, that was the trick. That. I almost got bow tie. We were, um, I mentioned to Chelsea that we're kind of <laughs> testing some new recipes for our yeah. delis and we we're working on a chicken alfredo and I almost grabbed the bow ties. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is not really even for kids, but bow tie right. is my favorite shape. Yeah, it's, it's and I'm an adult. And again, that's farfalle, if you want to say the actual pronunciation uh, is farfalle. See, so this see. is great for kids, great yeah. for adults, great for quick, easy dinner recipe. We're going to continue to work on it yeah. in a bit and we'll come back with you in a little bit. Lucy. Thank you. Well, hey, 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 welcome <laughs> back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer. It's Wednesday, so you know it's Lucy Greer Day here on Studio 10. And for those just now tuning in, what are we making? We are working on our ravioli lasagna. Yeah. So we have all the steps done. Of and course. And we're ready to layer it up. So we made our sauce, our meat sauce, with a little bit of seasoning blend. And we used jarred tomato basil pasta uh -huh. sauce, so it was super easy. Added a little bit of Italian um, dried dressing and that's kind of like using huh, a ranch packet yeah um, but it's the dried Italian one that just adds some good flavor to our dish without you know having to measure out all the different spices yes and stuff. so if you're just now tuning in Lucy and I were talking about this recipe and this dish how we have never thought of using ravioli <laughs> as the pasta and the lasagna genius both ways but of course you can get all these ingredients at Greer's mm -hmm. it's a fast meal it's an easy meal and it's a cheaper meal. Absolutely. So it's definitely a win-win right. um, all the way around. And I'm just using, right now I'm layering in um, our cheese ravioli and uh -huh. I just got it out of the frozen food section or you could use, you know, whichever one you wanted. Um, so I just did a layer of that. Yeah. And started with a little bit of sauce like you saw. And then my favorite part. I know. So really there's, it's kind of hard to like spread this out. So I just like dollop it around. Yeah. Um, and then you're, we're just going to layer it up, you know, and so it's super easy and I just cook um, use these frozen yeah just right out of the freezer so you don't have to cook them the ravioli I mean 
which is nice, you know, and we talked earlier about you really don't even have to cook lasagna noodles anymore. They just come now where it says um, no boil and mm -hmm. it's super easy. So that's gonna, you know, melt So fast. how many, obviously it differs with every dish that mm -hmm. you have, but how many layers do you recommend? It will probably be about three layers. I have um, two bags of the noodles here, mm -hmm. and this is a nine by 13. It's kind of um, deep, but you can just layer it as many, you know, up as many layers as your dish will go. Yeah. And then at the top, you kind of want to end with the sauce and we're going to then cover it and bake it at 350 for an hour because it's going to take a little bit of time for those noodles to cook. Of course. And then we'll take the top off and we'll top it with the remainder of our cheese and then just pop it in for another 10 minutes. So this would be a really good one just to do like the night before. Right. And then you can just pop it in the oven when you get home from work or school or whatever you're doing. It's so easy and so yeah. good. I'm looking forward to trying this. But, um, you know, Greer's is always busy too. So what's the latest going on with you guys? So it is hard to believe that um, spring break is here. And for some it's already passed. <laughs> that is just, I mean, crazy. Insane. It is insane. Um, so we have, I mentioned that our store down at Bailey's Corner mm -hmm. on Fowl River um, Road on the way to Dolphin Island has a new Ace Hardware. So as people are going down to the island that maybe haven't been that way in a while, um, lots of people always stop at Greer's because it's kind of the last stop before you get to the island. Yeah. Um, so I would love for everybody to stop in there and see our new Ace store. And we're gonna have a grand opening coming up soon um, and actually that store has online shopping too so you could shop for your groceries um, online and then just pick it up when you're you know headed down that way yeah of so that's course. just definitely um, super easy you can hit greers.com slash shop for all of the locations that have online shopping now and we can save you some time and some money hey always nice saving time and yes. money Lucy thank you again for being thank here you. we look forward to having you next Wednesday and we always enjoy when you're here. If you Thank are interested you. in this recipe, of course, you can get all the ingredients at Greer's.com at Greer's or at mm -hmm. Greer's.com. Yeah. Um, or we'll have it on Fox 10 TV right under the Studio 10 tab. <laughs> Joe?